This has been my outlook for the last couple of days. But one day of absolutely gorgeous sunshine, then it rained hard the next day, so I stayed an extra day. I was only going to stay the one day, but I stayed the 48 hours, which I'm allowed to more here for. The view across the meadows and the valley here, I find absolutely beautiful. I could stay here for longer, but unfortunately, the CRT says it's a 48 hour mooring, so it's time to move on towards Congleton. As soon as we go under rounds number two bridge, pronunciation might be off again, of course, we come to these rather pleasant linear moorings along here. Of course, I read this as Mistress Quickie. This is where I filmed the hidden aqueduct. Uh, I'm just about to go over now, Watery Lane Aqueduct. There's a little uh, gate I walk down to go through the aqueduct. And this is how much we can see from the boat as we go over the aqueduct. Just about make out the lane down there. Once this bracken's grown up, you won't see it. Why not, I guess? This here is a golf trolley crossing. Yes, the golf course is on both sides of the canal. Fortunately, I don't believe they play from one side to the other. Who's that? Egg before wicket. Oh, wrong sport. This is rather a nice little footbridge. I'm not quite sure where it goes to. As it gets into the woods, the non towpath side, it seems to just stop. As we approach now, coming into Congleton, there are some very nice properties and gardens leading down to the canal side. This is the first of two consecutive bridges being turnover bridges or snake bridges or whatever you want to call them and they're only about 500 yards apart. With all the extra expense of building a bridge like this I'm really surprised that they didn't keep the towpath to the same side. It must have been cheaper to add more soil I'd have thought to or cut it out the other way a bit more or whatever and kept the towpath on the same side. But no, we have two beautiful snake bridges anyway, or turnover bridges. Well, here we have some very modern flats or apartments that have been built next door to the old wharf building. It's nice to see they've built them 
with a similar design and style to the old wharf building. And here is the old wharf building, which has also been converted into apartments or flats. As we go over the aqueduct here, and we look down, we're quite high up as you can see, but we're now coming right into Congleton and where I'm going to moor up. So the next video will start as we leave Congleton and we look across the beautiful valley to the viaduct. Well, that's going to bring us, of course, to the end of this video. I'd like to say thank you very much to my Patreon and PayPal supporters and some great gifts I've received in the mail from some of you, which I will be doing a video on. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel. And press that old bell notification button. That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. I'll leave you until next time going underneath that second snake bridge or turnover bridge. <laughs>